a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a hop in the ride, do suicide, yeah, yeah, slow it down, dirty spray, yeah. What's up, it's Bree. Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, we're going to be doing another hair review, quick and easy. This hair is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to show you guys the curl pattern. I'm going to leave the name of the company right here on the screen, you guys, because I'm having like a brain freeze and I forgot the company name, but I'll leave it right here for the for you guys so as you guys can see the lace look absolutely amazing. I did dye this hair a jet black and I also um bleach the knots as well so the hair is already like it's good to go so and the way i want to style it i don't know y'all we're going to put the lace on and pluck it a little bit more make it fit my hairline but i love this jet black curly hair and i like the fact that it's not super super curly first thing first i'm going to go ahead and cut the ear tab so the hairline can the wig can fit my hair because as you guys can see it clearly covers my ear this wig is kind of big to be honest with you so i'm gonna just make it fit my head and then we're gonna attach it to our head glue it down i'm gonna be using my erica j glue and also my wonder lace bun spray that i'm almost out but i have a new bottle so let me go ahead and cut the lace off the the, the ear tabs off and we'll be right back. so we just putting our layers on the layers of glue I, like i said i use my erica j homie dot adhesive Hope you guys can see me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this layer dry. I do wanna keep this on all week um, because it's Memorial Day weekend. So I kinda wanna keep this on all week. So I think I'm gonna do one more layer of glue. I did two layers, but I think I'm gonna do one more layer of glue. And then I'm gonna do a layer of this, this Lace Wonder spray. And then after that, I'm gonna make sure it's pretty much almost dry and then we're gonna go ahead and stick it down i want this wig to come out really cute you guys i am outside this weekend so i need my hair to be cute very thin layer don't put it on my edges like that so I'm gonna do that all the way around let it dry and then spray the spray and we'll be ready to install it. okay girls so we have our layer of glue it's pretty much dry so we're gonna go ahead and put this on I want to make sure you grab it towards the end really tight because you don't want it to like ripple or look wavy. Oh my gosh, I hate when my wigs look wavy and like, and sometimes when the wig is too big, it'll do that. I don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure and I feel like the wig is still a little too big. That's why my ear is kind of, but I can fix that later. Like, make sure you pull that thing, girl. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want to rip it, but you want to make sure you're pulling it tight enough so the wig can be like laid like flat. So I'm gonna hold this really quick like this. I'm gonna just push it down. I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit. I feel like this side can come up a little bit. And then we can fix that later because the wig is still a little too big on that side. But I can just cut behind my ear and it'll be just fine. All right, you guys, so we pretty much got the lace on for the right, most, most, uh, most part. So I'm gonna just, it, it, I don't feel like it's on good. So I need to cut this off so I can see what's really going on. Cause like I said, the lace is kinda 
big. So I'm just gonna go over it with my blade. I'm not gonna make it real neat. It's just like kind of raggly looking. But I need to like cut it because I feel like I gotta I gotta fix it to fit my head because like I said it's a little too big but as you can see the lace look really good like that please come out good please come out good I got places to be this weekend I'm gonna glue that later don't worry about that little part right there we'll glue that later Once the lace is like on good, then you'll be good to go. Once your lace is on good, you'll be good to go. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and take a break and show you guys what's going on with the unit. The unit is looking really beautiful. This is how much I have plucked so far from the unit, only from this side. So I do feel like this unit, and I did pluck this unit before I even put it on my head. So I do feel like you're going to have to pluck this unit to get that flawless, flawless look. And I did go ahead and mix my Ruby Kisses Lace Tint Powder. The shade that I get is in Light Warm Brown. I do feel like I need to go a darker shade, but I mix that with a little spray i kind of spray it like this on here and i just mix both of them back to back and then i just tap in and i like that so i have not did this side yet as you guys can see this is still giving like a moon shape but this side i have done so i'm just going in and plucking like I said I want to take my time with this unit because this is a unit that I want to be able to reinstall and wear again and I really like the way it looks so that looks good so we're gonna do this side here like this is what I'll do and then I'll just like pluck some of the hair out right here And then I'll do another little line like this. Comb that hair out. Because when it comes to curly hair, I hate when the hair look bulky at the front. Like, I'd rather the hair look super thin than bulky. I like it to be like a little see-through. Because I like, when I wear my, my curly hair, I like it to look a little bit more, like, wet looking. I don't know. I don't like my curly hair really, really thick. I like it more on the thin side. Not thin, but just like more not so heavy. So, that's what I'm doing, you guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pluck this side. Like I said, I'm doing it the same way that I just showed you guys. And I just keep taking my hot comb and making sure everything is flat and just flawless, y'all. It takes time. And then I'm going to finish this, this side up. But it is almost done. It is almost done. Then we'll just do a little one-two baby hair and put some product on it and style it up a little bit but i love an effortless look you see how that look that's how i need my hair to look i'm just gonna go through it a little bit more behind the hairline not in front of the hairline okay so let's do this side but i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna go get me some starbucks y'all some coffee some coffee and I'm going to tie it up. I still haven't tied it up. So once I tie it up, it's going to be so, so pretty. So pretty. 
y'all know I really been into my clips lately. Oh my gosh. So don't be scared, girl. Plug the hairline. Even if the company say that it can't pre-plug, I feel like still plug it some more. If you wanna go for, if you wanna get that flawless look, pluck it, baby. The hairline in the front need to be thin, not bulky. Get you some good sharp tweezers. I love the dollar tweezers from the hair store because they are super lightweight. I don't like my tweezers too heavy and they are super sharp. Make sure when you look at the tweezer, it's like really sharp. Don't get the ones, cause I have some that's not sharp. They are more like rounded. Don't get those. Get the ones that's kind of really, really pointy. And that's going to get your hair lines. That's going to get it really good. Oh, girl, I had went to Starbucks to get me some coffee. I need to wake me up. Mm. So now we are about to cut our baby edges, y'all. And I am doing my normal four baby edges. Two on the side. And two right here in the temple area um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and cut do the same for that like so then I'm gonna curl them back Okay, you guys have saw me do this a million times, but we gonna do one, show y'all. So I'm just gonna take my curlers and I'm gonna, excuse my nails, y'all. I have a nail appointment in the morning. Excuse my nails. So I'm just gonna flip them up, everything up. edges with curly hair it looks right to me to me <laughs> spray some on the brush this edge control brush is I had its better days but I don't know why I just won't buy another one. But it works still, so what? Why would I buy another one? It works. That's good. So that's one. All right. So that's basically how I do my baby hair. I'm gonna spray it down with some water. All in the root area. Don't just spray it at the end. Make sure you get every piece of that hair. Dang, this thing going for a long time, ain't it? Okay. Okay. Let me move this mirror. This is my favorite part. Look at that hair, y'all. Look at that hair. That is so pretty. Still a little right up in this area okay you guys so here is the finished result of the hair the hair is pretty much 97 percent dry probably 98 percent dry 
um it's pretty much dry y'all and this is the finished look it's absolutely beautiful look at that look at this look at how juicy these curls are it's so so pretty i use a little foaming curl and twist by even the same brand that the lace um the lace spray i use the same brand and this is just a foaming lotion and i just put it on the curls and it's just so pretty y'all i'm not gonna run my finger through it too much because i don't want it to get bigger but this is definitely vacation hair you could definitely wear it up in a bun and stuff like that but i don't know y'all i think i want to wear this to vacation and I'm going on a girl's trip and I just think this would be so cute for vacation. So, and I talk to you guys later. And I don't even know what length this hair is, but it's it's like the perfect length. Oh my gosh, summertime I love wearing curly hair. So I'll be wearing my curly units all summer. Like it's just so pretty. And this is like the perfect curl. I don't like jerry curl hair. I don't like a tight wave. I like my waves to look like this. This is my type of vibe. That loose, pretty wave. So pretty. All right, guys. Let me go. I'll be here all day. Talk to you guys later.